Uh, this afternoon at approximately 4.30 p.m., Harris County Sheriff's Office District 4 patrol units responded over here to a house in the 4900 block of Gigham Check Court uh, for a welfare check. A, some family members had come over here after not speaking to the 60-year-old uh, daughter and or 60-year-old mother and 37-year-old uh, daughter that, that live here in the residence. They are the only two people that live here. Uh, family members have been calling. They weren't answering the phone. Uh, family members came to the residence, knocked, up, knocked at the door. Uh, no response. They then called the sheriff's office. As deputies stood by, they forced entry to the residence. Uh, deputies then went upstairs and uh, in, a, in one bedroom they found the uh, mother and the adult daughter deceased uh, in the same room. Uh, right now, what I can say is we do not know what caused their death. Uh, prior to the family forcing entry, there was no forced entry to this house. Uh, the house was secure. Uh, so whatever happened, uh, we believe happened within that bedroom. Uh, we have been told there is some history of some prior drug abuse. Uh, there are some prescription pill bottles in the room. Uh, but uh, due to the way that they're, they're laying, we really can't see any obvious signs of trauma, so uh, we will wait for the medical examiner's office to get here and conduct their investigation, see if they can, uh, you know, determine in helping us uh, establish a cause of death. Could it be murder suicide? That is that is a, something that we're looking at. Whether that could be it, uh, you know, it, it's not obvious if that's what it is. If it's a drug overdose, it's not obvious if that's what it is. So, uh, like I said, we're, we're talking to the family members, getting a history of, of this mother and daughter, and uh, you know, we'll document everything in there thoroughly. When the ME gets here, uh, they can give, her, give us a better idea of what, what might have caused uh, the death of these two women. Nothing looks out of the ordinary inside, like ransacked or anything no, like that? No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a fairly large house, but you know, there's nothing obvious that says, says that there was any type of a struggle. Uh, any type of theft or, or anything of that nature. Are you looking for any suspects or persons of interest? At this point, we are not. We are obviously looking for more people to talk to to kind of get a, a you know, a, a history on the, the mother and daughter. But there, there's nobody out there that that we know of that at this point that uh, might, may be a witness to their actual death. Sergeant, again, the ages were 60 and 37? 60 and 37-year-old is what we have right now. Um, and speaking with the people here today, it appears that they're having calls with law enforcement reporting to this house in the past. Can you elaborate on that? I have not had time to, to go through that, nor have any of my investigators that are here on scene. That is something that we'll look into. Um, but you know, as of right now, I can't tell you. I've been told there's possible uh, issues with narcotic use in the past, and that, that's something that we'll look into for sure. Narcotics in the house? No, I'm saying oh. that there, we, we've been told that there's a, poss a possibility that that the mother and daughter uh, have a history of drug abuse. It's a large house. Do they have any visitors or anybody that would come to that home, come and go from their location? Not that we know. We just got here two hours ago, and so we're we're still you know interviewing people, and I haven't been brought that information. Yet. And how long had it been since anybody had talked to them? We're looking at about a two two day time span. And all the all the doors were locked. Yes, the house was completely secure. And and no broken windows. No broken windows. Trauma to we're, we're not seeing a, a lot of times, and, and not to go into too graphic of details about death and decomposition and stuff like that, but a lot of times you will get what appears to be trauma that in the end turns out it's not trauma at all, just to the way that when a person's laying when, when they die, if they've been there for a couple of days, uh, different things may appear to be a trauma at first and they turn out not to be. So I'm not going to call anything trauma at this point. So they've been there a couple of days? We would think so. Yeah. I, would, I would think so. Is it? And it was the family, was the family, last question, uh, somebody, was the family concerned about the mother that they made this welfare check or I, about the doctor? I think they were concerned about both of them. That they, they just, you know, they haven't talked to them in, in a couple of days and that wasn't normal. So I don't think that the, the welfare check was necessarily that, that uh, you know, they thought they'd done something to each other or one of them had, uh, you know, committed any kind of crime or anything like that. They just, were concerned because they hadn't spoke to him, so they called the sheriff's office to come over here. Thank you so much. Thank you.